demented old woman with wide eyes and bloody teeth, clothed in a dirty grey nightgown. Found in an isolated forest, her weapon of choice is a bloody baseball bat. Her parents were murdered at 15, and then her daughter and granddaughter. She was made popular by the video game Granny. However, her story is real. Watch until the end, because you won't believe what I saw. The Granny Seed was first investigated by popular YouTuber AA12. In his video, he found some strange and unusual world glitches, but no clear evidence and nothing that definitively tied this seed to Granny. But today, we're going to test it and try to lure her out. Granny with a capital G. If I scroll down, you can see cheats are disabled, so no commands can be used on this world. We're going to turn off multiplayer so no one can join. There are no resource packs and no behavior packs. This is a totally unchanged, untouched vanilla Minecraft world. Straight away, we spawn into a tiger biome, which is actually very fitting to the origin story of Granny Horror. Speaking of which, what is the story of Granny Horror? Most people know who she is, but most people don't know where she came from. Now, I'm gonna start gathering some basic survival materials, guys, and as I do, I'll run you through it. Basically, Granny was born in Emboscada in Paraguay. To earn money, her father went into drug trafficking, but the criminal world led to disaster, as any of you guys can imagine. At the age of 10, Granny's father came home with a ton of cash. He said he finished his job and they could finally live decently. So they moved to Romania to a house in the middle of plains living in isolation for five years. Granny was not allowed to go to school and she didn't know why. Granny was never told the truth that that money didn't come from nowhere. Her father had actually stolen a briefcase full of money from Bolivian traffickers during a drug exchange. They lived in isolation, so they would never, ever be found. Everyone in their family was thus given false documents and why, to this day, is why we don't know their real names. When Granny was just 15 years old, the drug mob found them and came for her father and the money. Her father tried to attack the mob leader with a baseball bat and managed to knock him unconscious. Now, just taking a break from the story here, guys, I've got a bunch of wood. We're going to craft this into some planks and turn this into a crafting table so we can start getting some basic resources here, guys. I think our first port of call should be able to get, you know, a set of stone tools, mainly a pickaxe and a sword to defend ourselves. Nothing strange has been happening, but it also is our first day. I'm going to craft myself a wooden pickaxe. We'll start mining up the stone and I'll continue on with the story. So anyway, this guy, this mob leader, is unconscious and in return, the rest of the mob group shot and killed both Granny's father and mother. Now, very, very luckily Granny just managed to escape through a small hole behind the sofa and ran away into the forest, which is why I said that this tiger forest being our spawn is very, very fitting for this story. So, Granny ran into the forest and eventually she laid down to rest. The next day, the police found her and took her to an orphanage where she grew up. Now, I know in Double A12's video, he found a ravine nearby, which is kind of where I want to be heading as well. Let's have a look. Aha, perfect. Oh my goodness, that is a crazy ravine. This is wild. Why don't we get this call first? Uh, and then we can start bridging our way across. All right, I might really regret this, guys, but I think we're gonna have to do it. I'm gonna bridge all the way across here and grab that iron ore. Now, if it's true that crazy and scary things happen to this scene, I just hope one of those things doesn't involve me getting pushed into the ravine. As always, guys, you spot anything unusual, strange, out of the ordinary that I miss because, you know, I'm focusing on trying to play the game and tell the story of Granny Horror, please let me know in the comments down below because if we're lucky, we might be able to find some diamond, even make a diamond sword. That would be the ideal kind of weaponry I'd like to have. All right, let's head down into the ravine a little bit deeper. We just need to get our iron and head back up to the surface here. So let's craft that iron sword. Done. Perfect. And let's start exploring here. Oh my, that chicken gave me a heart attack, guys. So let's go ahead and keep exploring the area. I'm seeing some light over there. 
Hold up, that might be a village. Guys, we might have to hit the jackpot, which would be great because I'm really, really hungry right now. Yes, it is, guys. We've got ourselves a village right here. Hello, Mr. Villager. He doesn't look cursed. This is a regular village, not an abandoned village, which makes me feel like this village is more normal than people have let on. So let me just grab some of these sweet berries to eat. I mean, so far, the village seems pretty normal. We've got a bunch of houses here. If we have a look inside them, villagers in here. Let's see, is there anything strange in the chest? Anything that could give us a hint to Granny or anything to do with her? That's what I want to know, guys. All right, so let's have a look over in this house as well. And there's nothing strange in this chest. There's an iron pickaxe. I'll certainly be taking that. And the iron shovel. Those are useful, I suppose. We'll grab all the loot we can. Okay, nope, nothing in here, guys. There aren't a lot of chests in here. Okay, we just got a bunch of potatoes. Potatoes aren't exactly scary, guys. We got some emeralds here. I suppose those could be useful and more potatoes. <laughs> and head to bed for the night. I'm sorry, Mr. Villager. I'm kicking you out. <sighs> Let's take a sleep here, guys. All right. I'm back to another Minecraft day very soon. We're up and I am really hungry. I need to loot this village and take all of its food, guys, if we're going to keep exploring around this world without having to stop to, you know, <laughs> make our own little farm. Wait. I could have sworn there was a village house here. Okay, I'm probably going crazy right now because I'm so scared of the scene. Like, there's even, like, a path. Like, there could have been a house here. Nothing suggests there could be. I mean, it's literally just gr I must be imagining things. But anyway, I'm probably going crazy. Anyways, let's go ahead and steal a bunch of these guys. With okay, come on. The whole point of it being day is so I don't have to deal with you skellywags around here. All right, let's make ourselves some bread, guys, and eat. Hopefully, that skeleton is well and truly dead. Okay, thank goodness. It is burnt alive. That was one farm, but I could probably use with some more food than just that four bread, guys. Honestly, guys, seems like a pretty standard village to me. We didn't find anything in the chest. That was a bit unusual. Nothing strange has happened here. I think we're a-okay. I, I really cannot... Wait, hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a... Wait a minute. Was there a house here? Hold up. Okay, zombie village, I don't have time for this, right? Was there a... I, I am so certain that there was also a village house right here in this spot where I'm standing. Did I just take damage? Who shot me? There's an iron got. There's literally no mobs here. Okay, I am a bit freaked out because there was a house here and a house there. Okay, you know what? We can test this theory. I'll spend the day collecting more resources. We can head back to that ravine, get some more iron, get whatever else we can. Hopefully some extra armor would be ideal today. Uh, we can finish off the story of Granny Horror. We'll come back to this village, we'll sleep, and we'll double check all of the houses before we go to sleep so we can see if any disappear, reappear, or whatever else, guys. First, let's keep gathering resources. Now, while I'm heading back to the ravine, why don't we continue the story of Granny Horror? Now, you see, so she's living in this orphanage, and one day as an adult, after she's left the orphanage, after quite a bit of time, she returns to her home in the middle of the woods. Now, her house was absolutely ruined, but inside was that same baseball bat which her father used to attack the mob leader. And she decided to keep it. I'm sure you guys can see where this is going. Now, Granny worked as a chef in the town nearby until she met her future husband. Eventually, Granny moved with her husband back to the forest and began to renovate and repair her childhood home. Together, they had a daughter named Angeline who would supposedly go on to marry Simon, rumored to be Slenderman, and they would have a daughter named Slenderina. Oh, guys, that's enough spooky for the time being. But before we head down, we do have some iron here, which we can use to make ourselves some armor. So I've got myself some leggings and a helmet. Fantastic. And now all we need to do is make ourselves a chest plate. All right, I think we're pretty stocked up, guys. Let's head back down into the ravine here. Wait. Did I destroy that path behind me? Was that destroyed by a creeper? I'm sure we had a path across here. Okay, you know what? Doesn't matter. We can just build across here anyway. I am really, really confused though. I am not gonna lie. All right, let's go ahead, dig back down here to where our water source is and we can head back down to the bottom of our ravine. All right, let's go back to this abandoned mine shaft and I wanna see if, you know, anything has changed, anything is strange. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. And let's have a look down here further. All right, wait. Okay, my torch, I just placed a torch and it disappeared. That sometimes happens with game lag, but that is really, really strange. I don't like this at all, guys. Oh my goodness, what is that minecart doing glitched in the side? Okay, we've got some diamonds and some glow berries as well as some extra bread. But what is it doing glitched in the gravel? That is so strange. I really don't like this, guys. All right, let's head a bit further down. Okay, we've got some more iron. We'll take that. Take what we can get. Okay, we'll head back down here, guys. Uh, uh, since those houses went dis- Oh, my flip! What? That gravel just fell on me! Wait, I just took damage! Attack these things! Go! Take out that skeleton. What just that? That gravel didn't fall all the other times we walked through there. We walk under it and it literally falls on top of us. What in the world? Wait, where is that light coming? What? Guys, I haven't placed a torch down here and there's light emitting from this area. What kind of lighting glitch? I've... 
You know, I've seen lighting glitches in older versions, but this is like the latest version of the game. I'm done with this. I am so done with this. Out, out, out. Okay, the bridge is still intact. That hasn't fallen down yet. All right, should be getting late very, very soon. We might honestly take this furnace and this crafting table back with us to the village. Let's head back to the village and I'll finish the story about Granny. So, if you remember, she had a granddaughter named Slenderina. Now, unfortunately, when Slenderina was 14, she was cursed and her and her mother became ghosts, haunting Granny's house. Granny had once again lost her family. To protect Slenderina's diary and teddy bear, which apparently held her secrets, who knows what kind of secrets were in her diary and teddy bear? I don't know what you would hide in those two things, but apparently it was important enough for Granny to hide it. She turned her entire house into a trap to capture and torture any victim that came along. And she even turned herself into a zombie to be unkillable. She killed anyone in her path thinking that they might know Slenderina's secrets, whatever they were, still unknown to this day. And the last we ever heard of Granny was that she was trying to bring her entire family back to life. And supposedly she's succeeding, but not in the real world, but in the digital world. And, and that scares me, guys, because that could legitimately mean that she could be doing that through Minecraft or other games. Let's go back into our house right now, guys. All right, and in here. Okay, we made it back into our house. Now, before I sleep, um, we're going to go ahead and craft a diamond sword. All right, we're pretty much fully geared now, guys. Got full iron armor, even a diamond sword. Let's head to bed, and we're going to test the theory of what's truly happening on this world. We back up and we're gonna check. We're gonna count all those houses. All right, we've spawned back in. Let's head out here. Okay, that house still hasn't there. Maybe that house is never there. Maybe I was just going crazy. I don't know, but we're gonna kill this creeper. Let's have a look. Literally right there, literally right there. Guys, you can literally see the items that would have been in the chest of that house. There was a house here. The dirt is still fresh. We know for a fact there was a house here. We checked it last night. Okay, has any of the other houses gone missing? That's what I need to know right now, guys. Anything else gone miss- Ow! Okay, that was just a sweet pair of bush. I'm f that was a little bit- uh, I was freaking out a little bit there. Okay, let's check this. All right, well, let's head in here, guys, and see whether there's anything- Oh, we got a zombie villager! All right, okay. Let's close up the doors here, guys, and let's see what we got. Wait. Guys, is that a book? Guys, I don't think there was a book here before. If I'm not mistaken, what does it even say? Slenderina's diary? What? No way! That is the thing that Granny Horror had created an entire house of traps for. This is the whole thing that she is trying to protect. We're taking this book for ourselves, guys. We're gonna read it and figure out what was that sound? What was that? Whoa! Guys, what's going on with my screen? Hold on, I've just got a ton of effects all of a sudden. Mining fatigue, nausea, blindness? Okay, guys, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of here right now. Right now. Go. Wait, what is that? Oh my goodness, what is that? I can't move. I'm trying to my keyboard and mouse. Nothing is happening. Quit. I need to quit the game. I need to quit the game. 